Hi, welcome to the part 15. We are looking at some real certification questions on AWS Cloud Practitioner. These are all real questions. In this topic, we will look at questions linked with these topics. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. It takes a lot of effort to put in these contents, which are up to date and as close to accuracy as possible. Let's jump into these questions. We want to explain what describes the root user. So there are four descriptions. Which ones are good? The first one says only the root user can be configured using MFA, that is multi factor authentication. So if you write your username and password, so it's just like an app and you get some OTP on the app, and using that OTP, you can log into your devices. There can be a hardware based MFA device or there can be a virtual MFA device. Virtual MFA device is on your phone and hardware base is some uh, sort of to token device. So always remember you can activate MFAs for any users, not only for a root user. So that's why A is wrong. So it's like all, it's not like only VIPs can eat ice creams in a party. Anybody can eat ice creams in a party. It's similar to that. Let's look at B. B says the root user is the only user that can access management console, which is wrong. This is the management console and you can have a different user. You may not be a root user. You can still access it. And hence B is wrong because it is not restricted to root user. It is not the right definition. C says root user is the first sign in identity that is available which is correct this is the first guy which is correct and d says the root user has password that cannot be changed no you can change the password of a root user you can change the password of any user okay that is possible so this would be my final answer so this is the root user it is a single sign in identity that has complete access of your aws services and resources in that account what does the best practice suggest never 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 use the root user for your day-to-day -day tasks instead you create an iam user give it privileges only those which are required for conducting that role because that way you stick to the minimum privilege requirement and one more thing you need to note is you can change the root user password okay you can create rotate deactivate and delete access keys for your root user now jump into this question see this is a very common use case if the cloud expense increases beyond a limit you want to be notified simple if you have to do that budget see simple in your home you create budget if the budget exceeds then you need to be notified okay if your wife or your kids spend more if your husband spends more then you would be notified on your credit card alert system that somebody has spent more so obviously it will be budgets that needs to be utilized because this is used for planning and cost control you can set up flexible budgeting and forecasting but let's look at other options option b cost explorer See, you can visualize and understand and manage your costs over a time. It will not send you alerts. So you can create some sort of reports this way. And these are some of the features of Cost Explorer. It does not fit the context. B is wrong. C says to use CloudTrail. Always remember, what is the purpose of CloudTrail? It is used from an operational and compliance perspective to audit your AWS accounts. Okay. CloudTrail is enabled on your AWS account when you create it. So it is because it is just like uh, activity. It is capturing the activity. When activity occurs in your account, that activity is recorded in CloudTrail. So here you just do not require to record every activity. You only require to be alerted if your cloud expenses are exceeded which aws budgets does it so cloud trail always remember it is a solution which will help you identify bad players hackers data thieves okay so c is wrong 
and let's look at D may see see if you have lots of documents stored in S3 bucket and you don't know which one of them have PII data that is just like your credit card information your passport information etc if you don't uh, know which document has these like social security numbers driver's license and etc then you use Macy Macy has some sort of AI built in it will automatically scan through the documents and it will tell you hey you know these four documents have PII information so it discovers a variety of sensitive data types okay and it will evaluate and monitor data for security and access control see if you didn't know that the document had a social security number and if a hack happens you will lose that customer data so that's why Macy helps you with monitoring data for security in here does this question mention anything about security no so if there is no need of security D is wrong this is the final answer let us look at the next question see suppose you have an infrastructure okay and now you want to be very much aware of when someone changes the configuration suppose some problem happened like uh, a job is now struck and you are telling that hey you know as a DBA I had assigned more table space but somehow I don't know later somebody reduced it now you want to do that investigation it's like a post-mortem you want to do that investigation like who changed the configuration when why you can do that using this config rules see cost and usage report will only give you details about cost it will not tell you who changed the resource configurations organizations it will help you to centrally manage and govern the cloud environment so you can organize your accounts but not from security perspective it is mainly from billing perspective or you have a central policy implementation for example you tell that from now on everybody will have four legs so you want to implement it centrally God did that okay so they got told okay all animals majority of animals I want to put four legs so he changed it at one place and elephant got four legs deer got four legs zebra got four legs so on so suppose you if you want to behave like God in your cloud environment you want to behave like God you want to change it once replicate it everywhere you will not go and pick the elephant and make four legs for him then pick the giraffe and make four legs for him no you will do it once and everybody will inherit that organization has that capability but organizations will not help you with resource configurations and auditing that resource configurations or changes so D is wrong let's look at D VPC flow logs see if you want to monitor your traffic no? simple terms if you want to monitor your traffic that is uh, coming in and from the network interfaces in your VPC then you use this service okay why you use why you monitor this see, flow logs you can diagnose like security group rules you can monitor the traffic that is reaching your instance or just to understand if there are bad players you can determine the traffic direction okay is instead of reading is someone writing something slow so on so is anyone talking about monitoring traffic in this question in this question in this question no one is talking about that D is wrong this is the final answer config rules see this product is a fantastic product it will give you a detailed view of the configuration of all AWS resources in your account it will tell you okay EC2 instance this is an instance type this is a version this is an operating system I have Linux on this everything it will keep history if tomorrow someone changes Linux and makes it OS uh, Windows OS that also it will store that is what you want okay and you can also do the following you can evaluate the resource configuration for desired settings 
you can retrieve history the thing that it will help you is with retrieving historical configurations of one or more resources like i told right earlier one ec2 instance was on linux now it is on windows so they will have historical information that two years back this was on linux but we changed it to operating system windows because uh, this guy changed it and he had approvals to change it this was the reason etc so that's all about config rules so see in order to crack this exam it is very important that you understand each feature or each service properly there is a purpose for each service now needless to say please subscribe to this channel hit the like button as usual it takes enormous effort to put these contents nothing comes free of cost in this world but i'm giving you something free of cost so please subscribe and like my videos only that helps me understand what is it that you like what is it that you want to prepare and clear from a certification standpoint so in this part we covered questions linked with these topics for previous parts please refer parts 1 to 14 all those questions are still relevant now a lot of people i see they write in the comments uh, are these relevant still relevant will you be asked same questions etc boss start preparing it you know, enough of weight game so this brings us to the end of part 15 we will see you in the next part